okay? Now the cap is on the wipers of, of the relays, okay? So okay. it's, so it's an, a, a double disconnect, either connected to the power or connected to the primary of the coil. Okay. Okay, so it's a complete isolation system, mechanical isolation. So there's no way that the power from the wall gets into here. Okay. Okay. So that's that's the circuit. Okay. <coughs> so here's here's what happens. Okay. And so when when the capacitor discharges, you can see that's the that's the yeah. standard CDI. Okay. okay? Capacitor uh, discharge ignition. Okay. So we make one minor circuit modification, and that okay. is we drop this high voltage diode uh -huh. simply between the high volt the low voltage positive up to the high voltage positive. We just add that one component, okay? okay. And this is what it does. Oh, man. <laughs> That's significant. <laughs> like it. Now, is that the kind of modification you're interested in? Yeah. So basically, by getting a hotter spark, it's giving you better economy, right? Well, much more than that. Oh. Um, what, what you find when you look at this whole thing on an oscilloscope and everything else, what you find is that without this little modification, the, the capacitor discharges in about 150 millise uh, microseconds. With with this component in, in the loop, it discharges in five microseconds. Oh, it speeds up the discharge. Oh, a lot faster. So mm -hmm. the, the, the power density is... Because the oh, same number of joules in every right. discharge, there's oh, no, yeah, there's no yeah. more energy well, between this state and this state. Mm -hmm. What's that do to your spark plug life? A billion well, watts per nanosecond. Yeah, I mean, is, is it a significant wear or is it... It uh, can be significant wear, but the uh, thing is, is that there, there are companies out there that make plugs that, that are designed to handle, yeah. um, you know, plasma ignition. So... Um, yeah, and you need a, you re need you need to read it. <clears throat> this is in a zero resistance circuit. Okay, so you okay. can't have resistance wire. You can't have a resistance plug. Yeah, all this goes away if you have any yeah. kind of because this is a very low impedance event. Okay. Exactly. Otherwise, all you get is all your the same. You get you get the same crap that they're, they're giving you. Yeah. <laughs> well, most cars. All, all your energy is on your wire. So, so, so is high resistance wire common in uh, in cars? Yeah, yeah, because they want to shut down the EMI. You know the uh, the the, the EMI. electro. Yeah, the yeah. EMI. You know. For the emissions. Thing? Yeah. You know, they and used to say, well, works. because it gets in, so you gets into those So if you do, you have to replace the wire. It doesn't get into anything anymore. Yeah. That's all digital now, so it doesn't get into yeah. anything. So they don't care. They just want to make sure you're there. So this is working on, like, late model cars? Um, oh, yeah. Anything? Yeah, yeah. We actually had a lawnmower running on one of these things that uh, mm -hmm. we could actually close the uh, needle valve completely and run completely on the uh, idle jet. Mm -hmm. Same power, same speed. Wow. wow. The, the exhaust uh, temperature dropped to around 300 degrees. Wow. And the fuel's getting burned. Yeah, you're burning fuel and not throwing it away. Not burning it in the exhaust on the way out. Can anyway, you? that's the deal. Wow, that's interesting. That's way cool. My new thing I learned for today. <laughs> See, what's the, this is a die. Which way is it polarized? Yeah, the cathode is. This is it's, this, it's exactly this, it's opposite. Is this, is this, that's a positive. Yeah, this is the positive, and this is the cathode. Okay. Right. Cathode to the high voltage. Cathode to the high voltage. Okay. Right. So basically, what it, it what it, what happens is is the, the diode, you know, in 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 the rest position. What people don't understand about diodes is that the junction relaxes and it's just open. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And what happens is, is that as the as the discharge starts and starts kicking up this this voltage, it slams the diode shut. Okay. But you can look up the spec. There's a number of nanoseconds. They exactly. always tell you what that reverse event takes in time. Yeah, and okay. it's usually you know anywhere from nanoseconds to a microsecond. Or right. Two. Okay, but that's enough to create this massive. This is essentially, uh, you know, a, a uh, an electron version of water hammer. Just bam! Okay. It just hits the so, wall. So that, look at that a curve. In other words, the old right. curve is like this, and the new curve is like this. Well, see, here's, this is what we that's call this is this is what produces what we call radiant energy. Okay, uh, this 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 hammer effect because and and watch, you can see it in the air. It's the it's the oh, yeah. it's that orange sparkly shit. Okay. And my demonstration, you'll see a real good demonstration. Okay. Of that I mean, here. this stuff this stuff shooting way over here. This mm. thing has no interest in, in 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 any kind of closed loop event. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's sparkly. That orange sparkly shit. Radiant is, energy is the it radiant goes energy away the second the current flows. right it, yeah it goes it, it goes away from the current loop so I mean it, it's loving the air for God's sake so that's yeah. a complete mm -hmm. insulator right yeah. it's it is traveling towards the highest impedance it can find that is awesome it, it is oh so simple and everybody makes it complicated yeah That's the deal. That's what you want. <laughs> That's the stuff. <laughs> and you just don't explain it with conventional physics. Either. No, there's just no getting around that. They don't love that stuff. Yeah. Anything that jumps out of the wires and is not interested in ground and all this kind of stuff, they don't know what to call it. They call it transient and then write yeah. it off. Right, you're right. This is an well anomaly said. that, uh, you know, is obvious. There's no energy in it's it. Obviously, it's, it's dissipated. Did you guys you know. see it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't get to see it. Oh. oh. Come back next oh, year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're just packing up now. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll show you again, okay? But you have to come over here. Okay. You have to put your nose right. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll be nice. Okay. So anyway, the, the power comes in. It's divided into two things. This is just a little step down supply to, to run a five 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 timer thing. That and that's just running the, you know, the uh, relay. Okay. Just okay. flips the relay back forth. The second the second section of the circuit just takes the power and puts it through this 100 ohm resistor and the full wave bridge diode and drops it on this end of the relay which will then charge the capacitor. That's it, 160 volts DC. Okay, rectified 120, okay? So, but the, the, the capacitor's on the wipers, okay? So it's, it's, it's complete isolation, okay? Mm -hmm. so, so it can either touch the, the supply and get charged and then okay. it'll disconnect and then it will, it will go to the other side and drop the capacitor across the primary okay. of the coil. That's the that's the circuit. Okay, it's it's not rocket science. Okay, so um, um, this is what it looks like when we charge the capacitor to 160 volts. Drop it across here, and that's the spark we create. Okay, that's 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 a standard capacitor discharge ignition. Okay, so the only other modification we make is we add this diode. This is a high voltage diode. This is about a 20,000 volt diode between the low voltage positive and we're going to connect it up to the high voltage positive. Now, talk about something that makes no sense at all. The two positives, they split, huh? Wow. Nature seems to know exactly what to do with it, even though we don't know why. Okay? And what we were shown before is this orange sparkly stuff. There it is. That's the, the nonlinear event. Stuff that looks so like that's radiant energy? That's the orange stuff you can see. That's the radiant energy, you bet. See, because that's running, that's running away from the current loop. It's jumping out into the highest impedance area it can. Yeah, and... and Peter, aim it this way so these guys can see it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it, it goes from this. It's an ignition coil. Yeah, this is this this is a this is, what's, this, is a, this is a demonstration of a of a plasma ignition. Okay. That's okay. Standard ignition. So this is the standard capacitor discharge ignition, mm -hmm. and by adding this one component to the circuit, we can turn it into a plasma ignition. Is it a diode? It's a, it's a high voltage diode. We're just connecting it between the, the low voltage positive and the high voltage positive. So what you're so, seeing is the harvesting of magnetic flux being turned into energy that you didn't pay for. Right. Just exactly the same number of joules is appearing here as here. Not using doing? a bit more power. All yep. you're doing no is more power at all. A high pressure diode to keep it one direction. Nope. That's not the, because the cathode is connected to the high high voltage. It's nothing to do with it. <laughs> Believe me. So is it back? I've watched this thing operate for hours, and I do not claim to understand what's going on. Yeah. That's so you good. have the diode. Which way is it flowing? This is, cathode this is, is to positive. This is the cathode, cathode to the high voltage positive. Okay. It's the axial so so junction. that's just the oil. So which way is, is is the energy flowing to the diode? Yes. Which yes. way is it? 
Yes, put every meter it's you've got on it. You tell me. <laughs> I thought a diode only ran from the cathode to the plate or the. That's anode. what they tell you. That's how they. Uh, but to this use one's them. Do, doing it different. But when you have <laughs> junctions, you have little tiny capacitors in there, right? So there's always a path, even when they're off. Or Especially un unenergized. Right, the when they're unenergized, then it's wide open. It can go in either direction. Mm -hmm. Until that reverse event slams it shut. Okay. Okay. Or slams it open. Because I was or wondering why open. some of the circuits I've looked at, the diodes don't look right. Right. Because so they're going, they can go the other way then. Right. Well, huh. the, a diode <laughs> is an open circuit. Until in both directions until it's told to shut right. by reversing the, the pressure. Right. Voltage is just pressure. Right. Once it reaches that gate voltage, it shuts and doesn't allow it. Right. Can you do the spray one more time? Oh, yeah. I've only seen that. Yeah, you want to see it up looking in the hole. Could you also do the water? Also happens to burn water directly. <laughs> so now we needed a water injector, and we got that on a humid day. Mm -hmm. Got automatic water injection right now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take much. No, and it keeps burning the same water over and over until the whole thing dries out. Yeah. That's the plasma ignition, guys. Wow. Thanks, Peter. Cool. No yeah. Way simple. So you no. had your timer set for about what, one second? Oh well, you know that's not that's not an issue. So whatever the engine demand is. How many you want? Oh, okay. I can, I can throw fire with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Should be standing in front.